Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on February 28th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at all info, space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, space weather, so much. As we are observing here, 304 angstroms, our sun, incoming images here. We do have a coronal hole that is building and a lot of outgoing activity. Looking there at a couple small solar flares that ejected from both of the sunspots that created this week. As well, looking here at a very large plasma filament erecting from the southeastern limb, stretching right out, and a little bit of activity antipode to that on along the northwest developing here quite possibly a very active sunspot on the back side. Looking here at another light, you can see the large plasma filament stretching across the northern hemisphere. And under this light, you can see the coronal holes that are stretching through the southern hemisphere. Looking here at Lasco 2 images as yeah, definitely we saw a flare a CME massive ejection here and about six hours of data missing. Not really sure why there would be data missing, but it is. And there's about six hours of it missing. Definitely an amazing sight when you look at the grand scheme of things. Looking here, real time solar wind as we are sitting at about 362 kilometers per second. And we've been steady just under 400 kilometers per second for the last day. But we're looking at a little bit of a flip here in a north south pole polarities schumann resonance for today a low power of six a very calm and quiet frequency amplitude six quality of 10.6 let's have a look here at the last 24 hours for earthquakes all around the planet most recent here 4.4 in mexico right around the very active regions, volcanoes as well across the United States. Very busy day, 3.7 here in Mino, Oklahoma, as well as 2.8 in Tatuna, Oklahoma, Stanton, Texas, as well Gardendale, Texas, White City, New Mexico, and across California. Wow, very busy day today, 2.9 there in Lopez Point, California, also recorded a 3.7, 3.4 there in Nevada, moving northward, 2.6, Stanley, Idaho, lonely earthquake northwest. Looking here at Alaska, minor earthquakes in that region, pretty sizable, Adak 5.4 earthquake, which put out a small tsunami watch last night. 4.5 Kuril Islands, 4.7 and a 4.8 Southern Japan, as well a 4.1 here in the Philippines, Basco Philippines, just over 100 kilometer depth, 4.6 here, Bangkulu, Indonesia, and that is just way too close to Anak Krakatoa, who has been showing little poofs of steam over the last couple days. 4.3 there, Papua New Guinea, lonely earthquake, and the largest earthquake the last 24 hours, a 5.8 in Port Vila, Vanuatu, as well a 5.5 here, Loyalty Islands, 4.9 New Zealand, 
No real major deep earthquakes in the Tonga region today, but we did see some pretty deep earthquakes. South America, 4.5 in Bolivia, 530 kilometer depth, as well as 4.6 there. Calama, Chile, swarm kind of quieted down. Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, 4.5 reported here in Greece, 4.6 in Iceland, which has been very active as of late. Got to wonder what's happening up in Iceland. As well, a 4.1 here recorded in Iran. 5.0 south of Africa along the Antarctic plate. And we're seeing a lot of movement here recently along the Antarctic plate. Let's have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes. And bam, yeah, we are busy, busy, busy the last few days. Seeing a lot of deep earthquakes all across West Ring of Fire and as well Southeast towards South America. Activity through the Indian Plate and up into Eurasia. African Plate with the Antarctic Plate. Lots of activity this week. And as well, South America, deep earthquakes there. And we're watching the seismicity increase across the U.S., so stay frosty, aware, and prepared, and just be ready. Have a plan. And much love and prayers for humanity. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to look here at Pacific Disaster Center, most recent volcanoes to update. But right away, we're looking at some tornado warnings across Nashville and Arkansas this evening. A little bit in Louisville, Kentucky. Reventador, Sabincaya, Pacaya, Popo, Dacono, as well Sangay in Ecuador, Fuego, Guatemala, Era, Japan, Etna. Wow, Sinabung, Ibu, Arang, Ebuko in Russia. So that's about 14 volcanoes being updated today. Very active day around the planet. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected by these possible tornado outbreaks across the southeastern United States. As you can see here, a small watch was put out for the earthquake last night in Alaska. As well, extreme cold conditions across Manitoba, and Northwest Territories, and Quebec. Yukon, that cold temperatures, those cold temperatures are still lingering around and will be coming back to the United States in the long-range forecast year. We'll get to that in just a moment. Now, after all the snow recently, looking at avalanche warnings, Wyoming, as well as Utah, Idaho, and as well parts of the northwestern United States. So stay aware and prepared, my skiing friends. The slopes are definitely packed. And we do have one tropical storm to talk about, Tropical Storm at Marion, who is already a Category 2 cyclone, and but will not be affecting humanity in the long range. We'll just show you here. Five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth. Meteor Mike, starting out here, home base, Calgary, Alberta, as we will see a temperature swing over the next little while. Big Pacific system on the West Coast, and it is so big and dense that it's not going to get over the mountains, and it's just going to gain strength and pump tons of moisture along the West Coast. As well, you're going to see a small Alberta clipper fill form here from that Pacific system. Head eastward, but a very dry one. But this big system here will be affecting uh, Atlantic Canada and as well Quebec. Five-day forecast showing quite a big system coming in. Coastal regions seeing a mixed bag of precipitation. More inland, the colder. And as you can see, long range forecast, you can see those temperatures are moving south. Big high pressure ridge over here in the Yukon. And as well, just observing these very fast moving and large systems in the Pacific. And they're going to be racing through the Aleutian Islands and parts of Alaska and into BC over the next few days. So watch for strong winds and a lot of rain for coastal regions in BC and as well Oregon 
and moving southward. Very interesting. I think this is going to be a very vigorous Atlantic hurricane season. Noah is already talking about starting the season earlier and as well, quite possibly adding a category six to the hurricane meter. So stay aware and prepared. Start just being ready because, uh, I mean, if they, if they want to all of a sudden upgrade all of these scales, you got to wonder why. Looking here over Southeast Asia, uh, Southeast Asia, parts of Indonesia, daily evaporation rains. Big system here that's going to be affecting parts of Queensland for the next couple of days, but it's going to move eastward towards New Caledonia. And by then it could be a Category 1 cyclone. We'll have to keep an eye on that one here in the long range forecast. As well, parts of New Zealand. Most of New Zealand will be receiving rain in this five day forecast. Very cloudy down there. Big systems affecting you. Here's the forecast for Tropical Cyclone Marion. As you can see, it's going to jog south and then southeast. And then an interesting system coming from the west is going to follow suit. Overlooking Africa. Not too much to talk about except for the big system heading here into Madagascar later in the forecast, Thursday into Friday. And then that's going to follow the same path that that system did in the middle of the Indian Ocean. Overlooking Europe, high pressure ridge, pretty dominant still, drying things right out across the continent. Small system moving in later in the week. Big low pressure system here moving into parts of Eastern Europe and the border with Russia. And then will be affecting parts of China and down into Afghanistan. Watch for some heavy snows, strong winds, mountainous regions, parts of northern Pakistan, Afghanistan into Mongolia. Overlooking South America. Daily evaporation rains throughout the week. Pretty big system here developing on the Argentina border with Chile. Could have some extreme weather whipping up with this system. Eyes on the border of Bolivia, Paraguay, and Brazil. I'm going to leave you here looking at the major systems that will be affecting North America over the next little while. And as well... The systems of concern. Our jet streams are changing. So much is changing. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. Tell me where you're watching from. I'll make sure you're on the map. Thanks everybody for watching today. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.